Nick Oliveri is currently touring as part of Caius Lives, but he's most remembered for being Josh Homme's right-hand man in Queens of the Stone Age. Although he and the band parted ways in 2004, he was responsible for the grit in the band as evidenced on 2000's Rated R and 2002's Songs for the Deaf. We asked Nick if he missed his bro, Josh Homme. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, Josh is a good bro, and um, I still see him every now and again, you know, we still hang out, just uh, we don't play music together anymore as, as of now, you know, so, you know, maybe someday in the future we will again, but uh, you never know. We also asked Nick about his departure from Queens. I think Josh, he, he never really wanted to be a front man, you know. He brought in me to sing, he brought in Mark to sing. He, he, he brings in different guitar players all the time because he, there's something about that guitar player he wants to learn about, at, learn how to play like. There's something about a certain front man he wants to learn how to be like. And once he feels he's got those elements from those people, he, he likes to change members and move on. And uh, I think he finally felt like, God, I'm, a, I'm the front man in this band. And once he felt like he could be the front man, he didn't need Mark or, or me or... Uh, you know, around anymore, which which is how I really honestly feel is what went down. And um, now he's the front man of that band, and he can go in any direction he wants with it. And um, more power to him, you know. Fans of the band miss his presence, and we asked him if he felt like his presence was missed musically. Unfortunately, it seems as if maybe, I mean, I like the Queen stuff, but there's some of the newer stuff that I go like, man, I would have. I wouldn't have been into that. I would have been like, no, dude, let's try this. I know you can do better than that, and let's add this to it, and let's do that to it. And, and uh, I think there might be a lot of yes men around him, maybe. Yeah, that's perfect. That's cool, you know. And, and I think you need to have somebody around to go like, no, dude, that's not good. That's, we can do better than that, you know. Nick Oliveri is currently touring with Caius Lives, but he's due in court to face one misdemeanor count of resisting, obstructing, or delaying a police officer, two counts of possession of a controlled substance with a firearm, and two counts of possession of a controlled substance. He is hoping that one day he'll be reunited with Hami and Caius or in Queens of the Stone Age.